Hopefully she caught a cricket and not ate dirt. What a bunch of weirdos. I had to add some fake plants to some of the cages because some of the plants just totally died. But my animals are being weirdos again tonight. I'm really hoping she didn't eat dirt and she actually got that cricket. Athena's all over the place. There's little Cypher. I have Cypher next to me. I switched some of the cages around. One of the tarantula next to me that was always out. And Cypher's always out. I just gotta clean the... Yeah, I just gotta clean that. This one's always out too. There's a cricket right there. Mexican fire legs are so pretty. They molted. That one molted not too long ago. I hope it's a girl. I'm really hoping it's a girl. <sighs> no offense, but girl tarantulas are better. For one, they last longer. And two, as they get older, they don't become, like, leggy and stick-looking. Oh, someone molted. See a molt down there. So that means I have to go to Phoenix's cage then. And then there's the molt. As far as Phoenix ain't out. Phoenix is not that walking by now. Now I get the little one. That's Maddie. Maddie's the fatter one. Yoshi's smaller. Oh, I gotta see somebody down there. I gotta clean that tank. I got a lot of tanks to do. Because a lot of them have made such horrible messes in the cages. Where's Evie? Where's your sister at? She was in the front. I don't know where she got to. Evie and Trish are in here running around. Late at night. It's like... 1 30 in the morning. There's Raven Ravens out. And this is one of the feather leg baboons. The older one, anyways. Oh, there's a cute little jumping spider. Look at the little green iridescence on its little fangs. They've gotten so much bigger since I got them. They were so tiny when I first had them. Let's see if I can turn that around. Thank you. But you can't really see its little green fangs. But they're looking beautiful. I actually have the window open a little bit. It was 90 degrees today. It was hot. The first 90 degree weather. Oh, we molted too. Look at that molt. What kind of molt is that, coconut? Coconut wrangled that up. And just me, I know it's just a molt because coconut was out earlier pushing it out of their burrow. They're like, get this out of here. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go around collecting a bunch of molts, which is good. Cause that just means everyone's growing beautifully. Here's my brand new orange tree spider. It's my second orange tree spider. Next to it is another purple tree spider. Got two of each now. I named it Mango. Look how pretty its patterns are. Like all over its body. That's why I love these spiders. But see the two that I got, the first two I got, because here's Anubis. My other orange tree spider. <laughs> They're always way back here. I don't ever see them. I see its legs all the time. Oh, I see a piece of a molt. Well, at least I know it molted. But, like, I don't ever see it. But this one comes out a lot. So you can actually see how pretty they are. It just sucks. You know, the other one doesn't really come out. Don't run away. There's Sapphire. Doing so beautiful. One of my bird eaters. Sapphire is a female. 
She's doing beautiful in her new cage. So I'm just happy I put her in this like big tank. These two, I'm going to be upgrading these two into glass enclosures like these guys. They're girls. I don't know what they are yet. But yeah. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been like 11 days since I've posted anything. But I've been dealing with a lot of uh, problems with my back and hands. You look like you're about to molt soon. That's my Texas tan. One of them, anyways. It's Night Fairy. Just walking around, chilling. The other Texas tans over here. Right down there. You see the color of them are different? That's why I really think sometimes winter's not a Texas tan. I really think it's a golden red rump. I guess food's just sitting up there. See how they, the crickets hide? Now later on I'm going to take a spray bottle and spritz it and chase it down towards into the burrow for winter to eat them. Of course winter pooped on the thing. But you see how the coloration of the pattern of how winter looks compared to Night, night Fury over here? But I don't know. They could both be giant Texas tans. Because giant Texas tans do have similar patterns to the golden red rump. But I've had gotten tarantulas where I was told it was one thing. And then they end up being something else. So it wouldn't surprise me if these two really weren't Texas tans. And they were golden red rumps. Because they're starting to look more and more like golden red rumps than what they originally were supposed to be. Cause I've been looking at a lot of pictures of giant Texas towns and they're not looking like them. Hi baby, you come in and say hi. I don't know, for some reason this one's really friendly. Every time I'm over here, it will come and say hi, basically. It will come over, it's not scared or anything, see? I think some tarantulas are just more curious than others. Some do like to bowl and flee and stuff, but certain ones, like this one, I'll come say hi. No, I'll never hold them. I won't ever hold them, but I will sit here and talk to them and say hello to them. Oh, there's my Mexican red rump. I see your tank's dirty. Oh no, Reaper, don't run. That's okay. I know where your burrow is. <laughs> yeah, that was real smart. I don't know, for some reason they burrowed. Look at that tunnel system. That is pretty fascinating. Reaper has this whole thing decked out. I have to fill more water up in your water dish. Like I said, it's pretty hot today. And with being over near the window and the AC and everything. And plus they like to spill their water dish. As you see, all the water probably got spilt down because that's all moist. Did you knock over your water dish earlier? Won't surprise me. Sometimes they like to climb over top and it will chill at its eyeways. While it's leaning on it, it will spill down. And as they walk off, it'll flip back. I've seen it do it a thousand times, right? You're funny. Ming Ming, you're the laziest leopard gecko I've ever seen. She does nothing but sleep all the time. She's like the laziest leopard gecko. Never seen a leopard gecko so lazy in my life except for her. She will sleep all day, all night. She'll run around and chase her crickets when she wants to. Or she'll spend time trying to escape out of her cage all day long. Sometimes, but for the most part, she just likes to sleep. She's so lazy. Ming Ming is really, really lazy. Where's more tush at? I'll let you go back to sleep, Ming Ming, because you're so lazy. There she is. Tish is way down there. I wonder if Shiva ate her mouse yet. Didi's out. Daenerys probably getting in trouble. She's right near that water dish. She is really bad with her water dish. All day long, she just sits here and digs dirt into her water dish. That's why she hasn't done it yet. Nope, she hasn't done it yet. It's still clean. I'm impressed. I'm just trying to see who's all out right now. Cat's been busy. Look at that. I can't even open it. 
because dirt will come out. But I'm going to rehouse them. They're going to be mad because I'm going to destroy their setup. But the way it keeps doing this, I'm going to probably rehouse it into a small critter carrier. That way it'll have a lot more to dig down and burrow. And they're getting bigger, so I think it's good about time to rehouse Cat here. And then we'll just move one of the smaller ones into there. The mouse is still sitting there. Alright, where is she at? I don't like the mouse sitting in there for too long. Here we go. Let's see if we can get catch Shiva on camera, guys. <clears throat> I don't even know where she is in here. Probably this being a big tank. He's trying to find her. I don't even know which side she'd be on right about now, honestly. Because like I said, it's... She comes out of nowhere sometimes. Most of the time she's back in here. I have all kinds of locks on this cage. I don't trust her, honestly. I like to send vibrations throughout her cage. Because she'll come out of nowhere. This is how I get her to come eat sometimes. This piece of hair is hanging off there. Ow. Come on. Look at that girl. Mama wants to feed you. I want to feed her before the mouse gets too bad. But I gotta find out where she pops out from, too. hard to reach in here prop uh, properly. She loves being a baby girl. Like I said, she has like so many burrow tunnels that she's been working on in here. See if I can do something real quick. Honestly, I don't know where she is right now. I'm sure she'll find it. I'm trying to light off on the phone because maybe she'll come out. She won't come, really come out much if the light's on. Maybe once, since I have the light off, so maybe she'll come out. so much harder now that she's in such a big cage to find her because like I said she literally tunnels and burrows everywhere I pushed the plate back into the cave more and of course my camera's gonna act up it's another reason why I haven't filmed in a while because this thing just is so stupid I will check her later to see if she um Catches that mouse or not. So we'll wait a little bit and so I'll keep an eye out to see if she comes out. I gotta clean your cage. What did you do? Raven? Raven pooped everywhere. What naughty, naughty animals. I wonder if Raven sees the house geckos over here. I wonder if she gets stare crazy knowing that they're right there because that's like food. She thinks they're food, but they're not food. She won't get them. I knew it. What are you doing? You're right at the top. And this is my girlfriend has a lock on her cage. Hi, Rain. What are we doing tonight? Everything like Ming Ming, huh? We're taking turns. They like take turns. Let's see who thinks they can escape first. Of course, she got stuff on her cage. That's why these tanks are here. I have space to put on places that I really wanted to. But, some of these geckos, like her and Ming Ming, like to try to escape. 
and you can't have that. Because I got her a Ming Ming from Brian Barchak. I ordered them from BHB when the when they first came out with the Snowmax and the Lutistics. When Brian was breeding certain leopard geckos and stuff. Because he breeds more than ball pythons, he does breed all types of lizards as well. All types of yeah, different geckos and stuff. <laughs> so, but yeah. I got her from Brian and I got that brat also from Brian. I got special morphs off of him when they first were coming out. So I've had these guys for quite a while. I got them. I got those two, I think it was 2019. I got them. They were babies when I got them. Something like that. I got them right before COVID hit, honestly. But it was right after they opened the Reptarium, too. Because PHB was at, around for a long time. Because Brian had Snake Bites TV. And then he had also had BHB. And then they opened up the Reptarium. And stuff. I just went to the Reptarium when it opened. Back in about 2019 and stuff. And I picked them two up. And from Tiki's Geckos, I got the Harley Quinns. I got them a while ago, because I got her in beta from Tiki's Geckos, so they're top quality geckos, these two, her in beta, because Tiki Gecko, um, Manny and them, they, they sell high quality geckos, which was very worth it, so I've had these guys for quite a while. When I first started doing YouTube, I was originally trying to do a makeup channel, but then my lupus and everything started getting out of hand, and I started having problems with my wrist and everything else. It just wasn't working out, so I was like, you know what? I brought all my animals, because before my animals weren't in my room. I actually had them in a different room, and then I actually brought them into my room. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I just show everyone my real passion? And that's my animals. I love makeup. I really do. I love doing makeup and all that stuff. But over time, it's kind of hard. Especially now that my carpal tunnel has gotten to the point I have to get surgery. And my joints are really bad. It's just a total freaking fiasco. So, why not show the love of my children? So, I brought all my children in here. And, of course, I've gotten new children. Let's check on some of the new ones. I don't know if they're out. The slings are a little harder to see because I got new babies because I, I got a Cuban bronze. Um, where's my other new one? I got another feather leg baby. Is it this one that I got? That's a cricket maybe. Uh, nope, that's Ramsey's. That's the Trinidad. I have another new one besides the orange tree spider. I threw another sling up here. I can't remember what container is. I think it's in this one. Oh yeah, it's this one. We got that. That's Jimin. But they're tiny, so it's hard to see them. But trust me, they're doing good. So these two are one of the latest new slings. Actually, I have more new slings coming. So, keep a lookout for that. You'll be seeing new children coming. But these are all the babies. With my pretty crystals up here. I actually found that crystal myself. Isn't that pretty? That's an amethyst cluster. But I, yeah, these are all well, the new babies. But like I said, I have more coming. So I have a whole group coming. And I can't not wait to show them off. So soon we will have more children. And then once I get my house which is actually coming up here soon. Then everything's gonna change. <laughs> She's just jumping everywhere tonight. That one Eevee still. Yeah, they kind of look the same, but I can tell the difference because one's darker than the other. Yeah, it's Eevee. Eevee's darker. And Trish. 
I don't know. Tish. Trish is hiding. People get confused because that's Trish. And I call her Tish. Like Morticia. Gomez has always said Tish. So that one's Tish and that one's Trish. And I got that name from, if anybody ever seen the movie Divergent. I like, I like that movie. So I named her Trish. See, like, Mimi's just lazy. Lazy leopard gecko. Hi, beautiful. What you doing? Crazy, crazy spiders. But yeah, everyone's doing beautifully. I actually have 11 adult tarantulas I have to feed. Well, they're adults slash juvies. I did a bunch of feedings earlier, and then I have to finish blowing some of the cages, so I will actually film tomorrow after I get back from my friend's house because she's going away. I gotta go take care of her animals. So, since she's going away on a cruise for a couple of days, I'll be able to take care of her animals. But, but I'll film me feeding the GBBs curly hair, um, the Costa Rican striped knees I gotta do, and of course the other curly hairs and stuff, but there's a couple of them I gotta do, but I actually gotta get some sleep because I have to get up early because I actually gotta go to my friend's house to learn her routine on how to do her animals, and then I'll come back and we will do a feeding video, so... I will see you guys tomorrow.